Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. All right, when we left off, we uh, were trying to make our way to Good Neighbor, and the game would freeze on me in my attempt. So, I've managed to make myself get to where I was prior to the freeze. Um, just a little bit prior. Uh, at this point, I think it should be working now. And I realized I had a level up I still hadn't dealt with. So I'm going to put it into hacking because I still haven't devoted any points to that. And it would probably be good if I did at least a little bit. Because then if I can't get into it with locksmith, I can always attempt it with computers. But that's kind of a stretch. <laughs> Eventually I want to get all of those to master anyway. So there we go. Now we move forward, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything on my way there, because there was... Oh yeah, I think I... Yeah, I had gotten past the uh, enemies over there, if I remember right. I would gotten past these guys. Uh, took some of their stuff. There wasn't a lot of stuff. There was a couple of them that had kind of decent weapons, but that was about it. So, I didn't end up with, you know, too special of loot per se. It was a couple rounds of ammo, really, if anything. Okay, well, this guy is going to be a pain in my ass. Can't take him out. Okay. Okay, well, he's definitely being a pain in my ass right now. Where the, where the hell is he at? I can't really see him. He's, like, right behind the wall, I guess? Yeah, he's right behind the wall. That explains a lot. Okay. Okay. Can I... Jesus, I am... <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, let's pop a stim pack. Okay, if I have a little bit of cover, it should help a little bit. I think... No, that's not him. Where the hell's he at? Now I've lost him because he moved. Okay. The, that was absolutely him. Why was I missing? Because I'm hitting the fucking little frame there. God damn it. There we go. Jesus, Howard Christ. Okay. That was, that was annoying. All right, I'll take all of this. Oh, what do we got here? Some Mentats as well. Good shit. Um, some casings for 10 millimeter rounds. I'll take those. Why not? Whoops, that's not the button I meant to press. Uh, see if there's anything over here. No. How about over here? Eh, just a bed. It's not really worth it, if anything. Okay. Well, oh, vodka. Hey, there we go. I was about to miss that. That would have been... That wouldn't have been not good. What am I being detected by? Oops, that was the wrong button. What am I being detected by? Huh. Oh, well. I killed the one over there. That's really all that matters. And I can't seem to see anything else nearby. All right, well, Kate apparently not wanting to follow me right now, but that's fine. I can get to good neighbor uh, with her indisposed. It's not the first time I've done that, nor will it be the last. All right. Okay, that... <laughs> the reflection off the thing looked like it was an actual bomb. I had to make sure it wasn't just on the off chance. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm in caution. I'm in caution. Oh, this over here. Okay. That explains a lot. Uh, good neighbors over there. I'll need to cross over here to get to where I need to go. I need to deal with this one. There we go. That worked. Oh, there you are, Kate. How you doing, girl? Alright. That's, uh... See what I can get around here. Ooh, some rounds and empty blood sack. Kind of worthwhile. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, Jesus. Wow. You just dropped out of nowhere for no reason, huh? Okay. There you are. I was wondering where you were at. Because I heard you. And I was being shot at you. I just didn't know where you were. If you were at ground level or way up high. Apparently you were way up high. Alright. What, we... what am I getting stuck? Dog me. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Well. We have dealt with this area. Oh. Combat knife. I can sell that. Probably. Uh, let's see what I can do when it comes to health, because I'm running through health like nobody's business. Uh, and I want to use blood packs. Also, I should be putting those away. Um, what do I have? I don't want to use the grilled rad stag if I can avoid it. Hmm. Uh, squirrel stew... Uh, no, I don't want to use that yet. Oh, I don't have any status effects on me. Oh, well then, in that case, that kind of helps me justify using the grilled rad stack. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. Anything over here? Oh, 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 there we go. You're gone. The body flopped around a lot more than I thought it would. Ah, there we go. I was about to say. How did the third one miss? Well, what do we got here? Proboscis? Proboscis? I don't fucking know. Proboscis! Okay. Human jaw. Got some good stuff there. Let's make it over here, see what they got. Also, I should swap to this, because this has more ammo. More ammo than the other gun. And that should be enough justification. Found some. What'd you find? Let me just pick up the auto one. Uh, and also this. I'm, I'm behind you. Keep going. What do you got? What do you got for me, huh? Something over here? Stim pack. Desk fan. Was it that? Well... Thank you, boy. Managed to find it and take it. So, it's mine now. Yay! Okay. Alright, what do we got over here? Nothing and nothing. I probably just checked those. I was just making sure. <laughs> just on the off chance. Alright, uh. There's also stuff up there. I should probably check this area up here just on the off chance. That there's good loot that I'm going to miss and even though I have a doubt that it is going to be good loot I might as well do it anyway okay um, huh. a little living area cracked bowl clean striped suit and eh, don't need the striped suit but I can take the bowl all right what we got uh, another little well, it's more of a bedroom area, if anything. Oop, my nose is tingly. I am about to sneeze. Oh, jeez. <coughs> oh, shiza. That snuck up on me. Woohoo! Okay. Well, now that that's taken care of, got some rounds. Uh. What is. Yeah, I had a feeling this was a pipe weapon. But hey, that's a very modded pipe weapon. So I'm going to break that down eventually. Tactical powerful pipe pistol. That one's pretty modded up itself as well. I'm going to take both of these. Why not? Why not? I have the uh, grilled radstag in my system. Thusly, I should be able to carry a lot more for a long time. Oh, no. No, not, not, not falling, dog me. No. Gunpowder and gasoline. That's some always good stuff right there. Okay. Dynamite and gunpowder and gasoline. Alrighty. Where am I at currently? Uh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm pretty close to Good Neighbor right now. And I know this area kind of well. I've had to 
traverse it a lot before, so I can tell just from a higher vantage point where exactly I'm at. So, just got to move around this way. Ah, there we go. There's our little signage. Just want to make sure I'm not no, going to have issues on my way there. That is a big old engine block. I know that's probably to be a uh, generator, but still, that's a big old bastard. But that is. Okay. And we just need to move slightly to the right, and there we go. Now we're at Good Neighbor. Hey, like I said, it wasn't really that far from where I was when I originally was doing the last video. It just the game was freezing <laughs> because I have too many fucking mods and shit on it. I, I wouldn't say too many. I actually kept it rather low when it comes to the amount. I think I'm only using like a fourth. Whoa. Good neighbor. You can't go walking around without insurance. Without insurance. <laughs> uh, I want to do the sarcastic one. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You uh -huh. for everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft head cop. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Ooh. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Wow. Right, brother? Yeah, brother. I'm all right. Uh. It's not every day I get mugged and then witness a murder right in front of me. You obviously haven't been living it up enough, but we've apparently that. Good neighbors of <laughs> the people for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. All right, fair enough. Sounds like anarchy. The best kind of anarchy. Embrace it, and maybe one day you'll call this little slice of chaos home. So long as you fair enough. Who's in charge? So that's you, right? All right. Well, <laughs> am I allowed to take a stuff? So, is there rules on that? No. Nothing. Okay. Well, fuck it. <laughs> uh, there's not really that much spare ammo. Wait, I do. I have gotten a collection of it hey. at this point. I might as well give it to you. Well, kind of. And here I thought you wanted to snuggle. We could do both. Shush. Okay. Uh, there's the bullets. Uh, oh, that's a round that I need to give to her. Okay, there we go. Again, I haven't really figured out <laughs> that whole setup yet. I, uh, I've been kind of dragging my feet when it comes to that. Okay, uh, this would be Cleo. Well, Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. That's fair enough. Who... What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just... All those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? I just wanted to make sure, that's so, all. I mean, I wasn't going to fight the fact that you're a woman, I just wanted to make sure I knew what kind of woman you were. Duh, that came out weird. That's what my maker has called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. 
So what'll it be? That sounds like a good idea to me. Uh. So what kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. No. That is true. Are we doing business? And I'm not entirely sure if you want it to be packageable. Uh, this look of indecisiveness may get you killed one day. That's probably true. <laughs> okay. Well, that was quite an introduction to Good Neighbor we got here. Uh, so, <laughs> too bad it took uh, this guy to make it a thing. But hey, I mean, he was kind of asking for it. Let's be honest here. I'm just going to put his body over here if nobody minds. Just, there we go. That way I don't have to look at it. Okay. Onward we go to where I'm supposed to go. Which, uh, is apparently the memory den over here. Huh. You looked familiar for a second until I saw the face. Okay. Perfect. Inward we go, and we see what we learn. Drinking my coffee. There we go. Perfect. Hmm. What do we got here? Well, oh. Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. I was about to say. Nicky boy, keep it in your, well, I mean, circuits, I guess, if that's the thing. Okay, this is Irma, whoever she is. Nice outfit, though. Tell you that much. Given that it's the apocalypse, that is, well, I mean, post-apocalypse, that is a pretty damn decent outfit. Guess we gotta go down here, follow Nicky. Alrighty, what do we got? Oh, wow. More. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. No. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, <coughs> I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's <laughs> memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Kind of. The fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. <laughs> the dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Uh, at this point, I'm just picking the sarcastic options because they're just so good. Uh, just like Dr. Frankenstein. Ego, fetch me the brain. <laughs> no, I will not. No. no. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been perfect. <laughs> How much of the brain do you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. To be fair, I had a feeling it probably wasn't encouraging. Here's but what I could find. What's the, this? This there is we go. the brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Yeah. So, uh, Nick's an older model synth. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't That's worry fair about enough me, point. Amari. Let's do it. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm. Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Eh, fiddling where I can. Mr. Valentine, <laughs> just sit down. If 
if I start okay. cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Well, I mean, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Uh, keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you that's a good point. Any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears hmm. the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is there? Uh... Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that okay. doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He likes okay. to post, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Hmm. Uh, that that seems like a. Any idea yeah. what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. Yeah. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. That's probably Nick true. Nick and I are gonna share a mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Now, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, no. That you won't have to worry about that. Is that not what I've been doing? <laughs> okay. Fair enough, but that that seems like what I've been doing this entire time. Is that a problem? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Sit down over where? You're reporting over that way. Okay. Yep, I have to sit over here. Okay. But for the time being, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, and we're going to do that in the next episode, because that's going to be a whole thing. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you, I can't fucking do my outro. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games that we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. I think I fucked up my outro again, but fuck it, I've already gotten this far. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and fucking stumbling over my outro after we finally get to Good Neighbor and the Memory Den where we proceed to fuck with Nick for you.